Tattoo artists, what is the biggest are you sure? Okay then. Tattoo you have had to do on someone? A girl I know from high school has the your name Steve OS tattoo. Lo and behold she met Steve-O randomly one day, and they got a picture of their asses together which I'm sure made it all worth it. Another time I was in a shop while my girlfriend was getting her tattoo. This really stoned customer waiting his turn didn't seem to know why he was even there. On the way out the door we heard him ask for a fishing line with a hook on the end, and there's a peanut stuck on the hook. Unfortunately we didn't stay long enough to see that masterpiece. Obligatory not a tattoo artist, but heard this story from one. This girl came in and lost a bet, of some sort, and had to get a tattoo of broccoli on her. She was quite adamant that this must happen. The tattoo artist kept saying he refused to do it. Eventually he told her fine, but it would have to go somewhere where it would not be visible. She chose her butt. Had a flatmate who has a huge lifelike Michael Sarah portrait tattooed on his thigh in color and a pirate walrus on his calf. The artist couldn't believe he didn't lose a bet. Whenever someone wants tribal tattoos, I try to show them less douchey options. Not an artist, but my friend's brother got a picture of a The Grinch in a Santa outfit tying up a girl to a pole on his shoulder, I'm sure there was a lot of discussion. My best friend's older brother had spring break 2000 in bright green block letters across his upper back. Apparently, it was one hell of a time at the phone party or whatever. Dudes want the weirdest tattoos on their butts. First guy came in straight from the local strip club with the girl's signature on a napkin. Second got the word meme on his ass in Comic Sans. When I asked him if it was for a bet he replied no. No more questions were asked. While I was sitting for my back tattoo the owner of the shop came in and said there was a group of guys in the lobby, one requesting a tattoo on his ass that said loser gets an ass tattoo. He'd lost a bet. She wanted to know how much to quote them for, and my artist said something along the lines of $100 for the tattoo, an extra $100 to tattoo his ass. They referred to it as the ass tax. Some guys I knew in the army got really weird tattoos before their deployment to Afghanistan because they figured there was a good chance they would die so why not. One of them got a stick of butter with wings and a face and he calls it his butterfly. A family friend works for a roofing company called, and their motto is hustle. Half of the office got really drunk one day and had hashtag hustle tattooed to their body. One girl got it on her butt. One guy decided to one-up everybody and tattoo himself with the entire company name and logo. It's a fairly new company, but man it's going to be awkward if anybody ever gets fired. Edit, had to take the name out so I didn't get in trouble. Everybody calm your tits down the names have been edited out. Enjoy. Once had a customer whose surname was Macney that had me tattoo Mac on his knee. That was pretty fun and a girl who wanted an anchor with a W in front of it that she said was to represent her boyfriend. He was more unhappy about it than she was. I have a friend who has his own first name tattooed on his forearm. When he got it I asked if it was so that he could remember it. He wasn't pleased. I used to work at a casino and we barred a patron because he was basically always drunk and aggressive. He had his own name tattooed across the front of his neck. Time after time he'd come in and pretend to be someone else, but he could never fool us, because none of us would ever forget a drunk obnoxious guy with his own name tattooed on his neck. A girl I went to school with tattooed her name above her boob. Why do people do that? I knew a guy who got a huge insane clown posse tattoo on his back that literally read. Down with the clown till I'm dead in the grand. No typo. The real deal. After I got my tattoo, I'm waiting to pay, and a guy next to me says he wants an angry oak tree. Artist asks him exactly what that might be and the guy says just fucking google it, give me the first result. After some back and forth, the guy was told he was too drunk for them to tattoo him, and he cursed them and walked out. My buddy and another friend once tattooed himself with a game of tic-tac-toe. 
No one won. Not a tattoo artist, but I once had a conversation with a dude in a bar about his penis tat. He had a joint tattooed on his dick, because he thought it would be funny to see a chick blowing him with that tat. He said the tattooist warned him that he may have some nerve damage, as that's a very sensitive area. Artist made him sign a special disclaimer. Turns out the artist was right. Dude reported that he can't get harder than half-mast. I lolled and bought him a drink. I think Stevo's giant portrait of himself on his back by one of the best portrait artists out there takes the cake. Not a tattoo artist, but a guy getting a tattoo of my name before we had even met, talking on Tinder, I begged him not to, he didn't listen. It's forever on his hand now. We stopped talking about two days later. I have three crabs I had tattooed on my pubic region I obtained in my misspent youth. Tattooist asked twice if I was sure, black ink takes well to me also, they're over 10 years old and almost as prominent as when they were freshly healed. Swastika on forehead and 1488 on ankle. H is the eighth letter in the alphabet, so the two HS stand for Heil Hitler. The 14 refers to the 14 words. This number is integral to white supremacists and neo-Nazis. The guy was black. I just recently got my first tattoo and started making conversation with my artist, the guy told me that the craziest tattoo he's had someone ask for has been a picture of Al Capone with two middle fingers up while his dick is out, you know as God would have wanted.